the refrigerator adventure. You know, this video is based on a true story that really happened when I was a little guy. I was about five years old and I had three brothers and my dad said to us one day as he was drinking his coffee reading the newspaper, he said to us, don't ever go inside the refrigerator. And we just kind of looked at him and said, yes, sir. And he was really stern about it. And he said, do you want to know why? And we said, why? He said, there's an article in the newspaper about some kids that went inside the refrigerator. They're playing hide and seek. One of them got locked in there and he suffocated and he died. And it was a really sad story. And, and you know, of course, these were the old time refrigerators that had the locking handles. Couldn't happen today, that kind of a thing, because uh, they changed the, the way the refrigerators open. Uh, but um, back in the 60s, they had these refrigerators with locking handles and, and every year there'd be some kids that would die. Uh, and so my dad said, don't ever go inside the refrigerator. And then he went off to work. Now all day long, guess what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, I wonder what it's like to go inside the refrigerator. But you know, I didn't want to die. But it couldn't get out of my mind. I'd never thought about it before until my dad said, don't do it. So here's what I did. I went and got my little brother Fred and I said, let's take all the food out of the refrigerator. I'll go inside. And I'm sorry, Fred, you go inside first. When you want to come out, knock on the door and I'll let you out. And then I'll go inside. And when I want to come out, I'll knock on the door and you let, you let me out. So Fred said, let's do it. So we took all the food out of the refrigerator. Fred went inside. He was in there for not very long, maybe a minute. He knocked on the door. I opened up the door, let him out. Now it was my turn. We were so excited. We were going to be the first kids in America to go inside a refrigerator and live to tell about it. So I went inside the refrigerator. Fred closed the door. And you know what? It was cold in there and I didn't have my coat. It was boring, not only that, but I didn't realize that the light turns off when you go inside a refrigerator. And so after about 60 seconds, I knocked on the door. Bang, 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 nothing happened. Bang, 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 nothing happened. What happened was Fred was not tall enough to reach the handle on the door. And so I'm screaming, Fred, Fred, let me out. Nothing's happened, Fred, I'm gonna die, let me out. Now, all Fred had to do was get a chair or a milk carton and stand on it, but no, like a good little boy, he ran upstairs and got my mom. And I'm sitting there going, Fred, I'm gonna die, let me out. And the door opens up and I look up and I see my mom and I, my first thought is I'm gonna live. And then I see my mom and I think I'm dead. Uh, and so um, it's a great little story. It's a true story. Maybe you've got a similar story, but basically what this particular short film is about is the concept of sin. And I think it's important that we teach kids because kids are going to want to sin sometimes. They're going to want to do the wrong thing. And what is that? When dad says, no, don't do this. When God gave us the Ten Commandments, it was to identify our sin. And so when we hear commandments, when we hear rules, there's something in our flesh that makes us want to go against that. And we need to recognize what that is, that sin, and we need to resist that. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee.